And welcome back to Let's Play Shantae Whiskey's Revenge. Last time we uh, got really, really lost, and that was basically all that happened. Uh, we're trying to find all the magic jams to get 100%. Uh, we're definitely not getting the speed run 100% ending, but we can still get 100% nonetheless. Now, which number was that? <laughs> That was four, so we have two more to find if my math was right. Because there was like one that I know I missed. If I didn't miss it, that's gonna be bad, because that actually means which one did I not get. Um, and I know it's in Barren Desert. I'm not gonna cut because, quite frankly, um, this doesn't take that long. Shouldn't take that long, at least. Let's be more specific. So, um, yeah, I tried looking up more on where specific ones are, and I couldn't really find out a ton, so, kind of blind here. Not really blind per se, but just. I, mean, I have a general idea of where to go, not a specific idea of where to go. The problem is, this world is. Okay, not problem. The opposite of a problem. The good thing about this is the world is so small. It really doesn't take very long to get around. So it's like, even if this is a lot of side questing and backtracking, it doesn't take too long because it's like, it's a really tiny overworld. Which is often criticized for this game that the overworld is too small, but to be honest, it, it feels plenty. Uh, it feels like a good size for a Metroidvania. Oh shoot, I just actually realized something. I was giving it some thought about that hint I gave last episode, and depending on what game I actually pick, because there was a couple I'm bouncing around, there's actually one that I haven't actually played in a really long time, so then that hint would not actually hold up that I'd played it recently. So never mind that hint. So the problem is, now we actually, actually have to navigate this area again, to try to get back to uh, the warp. Just uh, one issue I do have with this game is that warps are a little bit too spread out. Uh, again, like in this case, having to navigate a death trap to actually even get to the warp kind of defeats the purpose of the warp, doesn't it? Um, like, to be honest, this is the worst screen in the game uh, in that regard, because to be honest, like, uh, like, the amount of territory you have to cover to get between Squid Baron's layout, or layout, hideout, and the warp is not that much. Here it feels like you have to go a really long distance to actually get to the warp, and it feels disproportionate. Like maybe put the warp in between, <laughs> instead of look really far away. But hey, we made it. Problem... Which is actually gonna be... which is actually gonna be closer. <laughs> Uh, actually, that's actually a good point. I can check for one in Pumpkin Fields while we're here. Um, what screen of Pumpkin Fields is this? Because this, this map is dividing it up into screens, so it's kind of hard to follow sometimes. It's like, oh, screen three. It's like, is that going from the left or from the right? I don't know. I think I got this one. I just wanted to double check. If this was one, then we got it. Easily. Okay, that eliminates one possibility. But yeah, uh, just checking all of the ones I don't know about, it's not going to take very long. Another very real possibility is because I did have to replay the game. Uh, it could be that I did get it, and thus I have muscle memory of getting it, and that's why I'm getting really confused. Basically, I got it, but uh, it didn't register. Okay, I'm not sure how this works. It says to use the pike ball? Use the pike ball to flip the platforms as you land on them. <laughs> that feels like a really terrible idea, if I do say so myself. Uh, why didn't that work? Because it says you can also use fire, but that's clearly not working. Um, wait, wait, shoot, that's the wrong move. This is the... Is this the one? Huh, okay. Um... I'm really confused by these instructions. Okay, like that. Yeah, see, we just fell through that. 
Okay, this is just really precise, apparently. Cool. Um, uh, I'm gonna take the hit. I don't care. So, Barren Desert. The far left of the first Barren Desert area, there's one last pit that can be monkey bulleted over for this item. Aha! Uh -huh. That sounds promising. I don't remember doing that. So is this talking about this? Far left of the first area. I guess that's this, potentially. Uh, I can hold on, so there we go. Wait a minute. Is that actually what it's meaning? Because this is actually still going, so far left and apply even further down. Uh, I guess it's just instead of going through the cave, we can actually just monkey bullet across. Save us some time. Uh, for some reason I didn't hold right. Okay. Good plan. <laughs> Actually, what I should do is go in and out of the cave just to create a, a checkpoint. There, so now we don't actually have to traverse as much if I do that same stupid mistake again. Which I very well could because I... Apparently, I forgot to push buttons all the time. I've actually discovered this. Sometimes, even if my mind is saying I need to push a button, uh, I don't physically push the button. It's really weird. Um, I was playing, what was it, Hase Miku Project Diva Future Tone? That's a long name. And there were times where it's like, I just didn't push the button, and I don't, don't know why. Like, for some reason, I just didn't push the button, and it's like... <laughs> I knew what button to push, even, but I didn't push it, and it was just weird. Actually, I'm gonna do the same trick again, just to make it easier on myself. Now, assuming there's no more unlockables, which I'm really hoping there aren't, uh, this should be the last thing. This should be the last one. I hope, I really hope it is. <laughs> okay, magic jam. Dance, and then... Cause that's six, and my calculation last time was that there'd be six, so that, again, the question is to actually do the math right. Probably not. Um... And these guys are the most annoying enemies. Now, the question is what the- okay, so the warp is actually this way. Had to double check, actually, didn't remember. Oh wait, this is the camp? So we have to actually go down further. And yeah, I feel like two warps in Barren Desert would have been appreciated because you have to actually traverse most of the actual area. Like, like just to pick up one item to get to a warp for one item, you basically have to traverse the whole desert just to get to a warp. This should be the right place. Actually, can I check this out? Cool. That saved no time. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, the time it took me to climb that up. I didn't save any frames at all. Jumping up walls seems to be really fast, so that's good to keep in mind. Now this should be the... yeah, this is the warp. Okay. Uh, I guess this is the closest one. I also wish there was one in town, but I guess because pumpkin fields and lilac fields are equidistant from it, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Actually, no. Lilac fields is technically shorter, I think, because there are fewer pits. Though I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really been focusing on that. Okay. We're good. No problem. Uh, if I... Like, I think my clear time, based on where the clock was when I started recording, was like 2.17. And I've done like 4 or 5 videos since. So I think we're just gonna barely miss the speedrun ending <laughs> if it is 4 hours. Because again, some sites say 4 hours, some sites say 3 hours, so I'm not sure which it actually is for 100%. Please tell me I have enough money for this. <laughs> uh, cause that would suck otherwise. Um... I don't. 
that's just that's depressing. <laughs> that's actually really depressing. Um Well, might as well buy a few of these. Suck up. So I need 550. I bet this is a run killer for a lot of people. Like if you just don't have enough treasure and you have to actually grind for gems. I have a feeling this is probably a run killer. <laughs> if you're trying to go for the speed run. For the a hundred percent. I'm actually trying to think. And I don't think any powers are required in the main game. Only for side questy stuff, so that's good at least. Uh yeah. So I need how much? What's that? Like 550, I think I what I said. Um yeah, I wonder what the best way to get money in this game actually is. Because if I could figure it out, that would be much appreciated right about now. Um, drop rates from enemies seems to be very sporadic in this game. Probably the fastest place would be to just go to the Squid Barons. And then see if all the treasure respawns there, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Not cutting this because, quite frankly, if anyone else is for whatever reason using this as a guide for 100% and I end up finding a really good spot for money, then might as well just leave it in. Plus it's the real experience, air quotes. So yeah, I'm trying to actually do the math, so there are three main power-ups. Uh, they start out with zero and then go up to one, two. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how the magic jam, jam actually works. In terms of, like, actually how many are used. Because 17 is a weird number. And yet we're using them all up, so it's like, I'm not sure what combination of numbers can add up to 17. Unless one of those, like, smaller items was just worth one magic jam and didn't have any upgrades, that, that could be. That's probably it, actually. Because we're very clearly gonna max out upgrades. Please tell me money resets in these dungeons. I should've just tried getting money while I was here, actually. <laughs> I didn't even think about needing more money. Okay. Now, was there a path up here that was like the drop down to the main room that gave you a lot of money? If I can't figure out how to get money consistently and I just have to bludgeon enemies, uh, I suppose I'll just uh, meet back at uh, the shop next episode uh, whenever I uh, get enough money. Oops, did not jump far enough. Now I think in Half Genie Hero, that's something I could bring up. I think in that game there's actually a money spell. Like, does that- no, it's not spell, dance. There's a dance where you can turn into like a jar and then, then spawn infinite gems. Which is actually really cool. Uh, and frankly would make this whole process of grinding up gems a lot easier. Uh, now, was there anything up here that actually gave gems? I remember there was a magic jam. Looks like that's the only thing, though. Now, all these are giving hearts. The time I don't want hearts, or don't need hearts, is the one time the game really wants to give me hearts. Okay, heart. Now, there's this room I know that has stuff. Can I chalk down? No. It's like you can see items down there, but you can't actually reach them. Can I actually just- can this reach them? No, okay. Can this actually break stuff? Okay, it can. Actually, this is really effective. Um, so I got a hold right here. I don't remember if I actually got this in the LP, but hey, that's more money. That's like the only, like, gem spot I know of, though, in this dungeon. There are a couple more, but it's they're like really far out of the way. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to think of any other places that have a lot of treasure. Not that guy, apparently. Actually, hello. I have an idea. Uh, but not this screen because this screen is actually not the 
best for this. Wow, that guy dropped five. And these guys guaranteed drop five every time. So see, that's actually that's actually pretty efficient. Um, gets better too. Now I think I'm on the first screen, right? Okay. So you take out that guy, just go over here, run back, and he respawns. So I think this is actually the most efficient way to get money. Uh, even though this takes a really long time, five times. 300, so I have to kill this guy 60 times approximately. Um, three times, or 30 to 5, or 300 divided by 5 would be 60, that's right. So this is just a little bit tedious. Um, so I guess I'll just be doing this and then meet back at the shop whenever I have enough. So, uh, quick jump cut. So off screen I did actually get all the gems I need. And thus um I actually got these last two items. Voila, we are done. And I forgot to turn off trophy notifications, but that's good because I actually know I got everything. <laughs> um So Is this a save place? Cause we're ending off uh pretty soon. And there's not a save point by the light. I, actually, I think the height is to the right of here, so we actually need to go right anyway. Um, where is the save person? Is it down here? Nope. I think that's where wrench, this guy and wrench usually are. This place? Yes, this is the save person. Yes, I would. So, next time I will try to figure out where this, this sunken cavern is. Apparently that's the name of the place, and we'll probably not beat the game next time, but the time after, so thank you for watching, I hope you join me next time for more Shantae Risky's Revenge.